Welcome to Alloway Parish Church. I'd like to begin by showing you a sculpture, a sculpture which I feel sure many of you will have walked past, perhaps not even noticing. To look at it, I know it looks like it's a sculpture of a man who's the worse for wear, but in fact, it is a sculpture depicting the parable of the Good Samaritan. And there he is, the Good Samaritan, the man who did not walk past, the man who crossed the road to help the person who was in need. And where is this sculpture to be found? It's to be found outside of the hospital in air, the center of such good care at the moment. We remember the people who cared for us. You may not be aware that the World Health Organization appointed 2020 to be the year of the nurse. It comes on the 200th anniversary of the birth of a very famous nurse, the Lady with the Lamp, Florence Nightingale, who was born on the 12th of May, 1820. How indebted indeed we are to all the caring that goes on in this hospital. I feel sure that Jesus wanted us to care for each other. Indeed, he was aware of that famous commandment, love your God with all your heart and soul and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. Over history, some, by no means, of course, all Christians, but some Christians have had a reputation for caring. When plague struck the Roman Empire in the third century, Christians were known for their caring of the victims. Centuries later in Europe, it was the monasteries, monks and nuns who often looked after people who needed great care. And then, of course, the 19th century, Florence Nightingale herself had deep religious convictions. When she trained, she went to a Lutheran college in Germany, which studied not only nursing care, but theology also. Florence Nightingale, you see, was interested not just in physical health, but in spiritual health as well. Nurses were encouraged to go to chapel. They were encouraged also to say prayers on their daily rounds in the wards. We honor all the nursing staff in this hospital and beyond, whether of a religious persuasion or not. I believe them all to be on the side of the angels. For now, we worship God, our first hymn, When I Needed a Neighbour, Were You There?
I'm Helen Ness, and I normally help to organise the Christian Aid collection during Christian Aid Week. This year, because of circumstances, we are unable to collect, and we normally raise around £10,000 due to your generosity. This year, there are other ways to donate, and by clicking on our website, you can do this. I urge you to be generous and to help this very worthwhile cause. Our reading for this morning is taken from Luke chapter 10, beginning at verse 25. The parable of the Good Samaritan. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law, he replied, how do you read it? He answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and all your strength and with all your mind, and love your neighbour as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbour? In reply, Jesus said, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he fell into the hands of robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he travelled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbour to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. We give thanks to God for these readings from his word. This week may be the 200th anniversary of the birth of Florence Nightingale. It's also a very important week in the history of Christian Aid. Christian Aid Week from the 10th to the 16th. For over 70 years, this organisation has been reminding us that there is much care still to be exercised in the world today. I'm sure, like me, you've wondered at these uh, Nightingale hospitals that have been springing up throughout our country. It's organisations like Christian Aid who remind us that in countries like Malawi, there is one intensive care bed for every million people. Christian Aid reminds us and works within the refugee camps where they cannot keep a social distance. Christian Aid reminds us that while we understand that soap and water are vital in the great fight against this virus, there are 40% of the world doesn't have access to soap and to water. They say we're all in it together, but some countries are more in it than others. I'm sure, like myself, you remember the story of the Good Samaritan, the parable that Jesus taught from your Sunday school days. Many years later, I still find this parable to be very inspiring, but also very challenging indeed. The Samaritan who took the risk 
of getting involved. The Samaritan who would not pass by. I've been parish minister in Alloway for 21 years and I've always been encouraged and inspired by the response of the parish to Christian Aid Week. Over the years going round the doors, you have raised tens of thousands of pounds for this organization. Once again, I would invite you to support Christian Aid in what they do. For they seek to be the good Samaritan. They seek to give support to many people who have been forgotten. When I needed a neighbor, were you there? Were you here? And the creed and the color and the name won't matter. Were you there? I have a voice. You have a voice. We have a voice. And when we sing together, a line is drawn and hope reborn. This is the song, the song of kingdom come. I have a voice. You have a voice. We have a voice. When we sing together, a line is drawn and hope reborn. This is the song, the song of kingdom come. We heard the cries of distant neighbors, the dispossessed, the refugee, and God's command to feed the heart. Set them free and set them free. We heard the word, the new commandment, and we reclaimed the prophet's call to love the world without condition. God's love for all, God's love for all. I have a voice. sing together, the line is drawn, and hope reborn. This is the song, the song of kingdom come. A reckless love that knows no borders, that speaks the truth to those in power, that shines a light.
And now we unite our hearts in prayer together. Let us pray. Lord God, even through this perplexing time, we know there are so many good gifts that we would thank you for, for the beauty of creation, the changing seasons, for our world, its rich and varied fruits, for clean water, fresh air, food, shelter, and for somewhere to call home. Forgive us for the times that we have taken the earth's resources for granted and wasted what you have given us. Transform our hearts and minds so that we too would learn to care, we too would learn to share, to touch the earth with gentleness and with love, respecting all living things. At this time of pandemic, we pray for those who are exercising dedicated care, for nurses, health workers, tending the seriously ill, for scientists working in a vaccination, for supermarket workers, hygiene and sanitation providers. We give thanks for good news of stories of recovery, for the recognition that isolation doesn't need to mean loneliness. For tenderness, we pray for those who are unwell, concerned for loved ones, for those who have no choice but to go out to work, for those who are afraid to be at home, for those who are more lonely than they've ever been, for those who are bereaved and grieving. Lord God, be their healer, comfort, and protector. In this week of Christian aid, in the face of such global hunger, poverty, and injustice, Move us all, Father, to be generous, unwilling to do nothing or pass by. For you, Lord God, have told us what is good, to do what is just, to show constant love, and to live in humble fellowship with you. And so we pray for one person, Lord God, in the quietness of our hearts, who needs a sense of your presence and name them before your throne of grace. In Alloway, let us commend to God's safety the staff and pupils of Dunfoot and Alloway Primaries, the care homes of Redford, Rizal, Craig and Ban, and all others in the district. Let us ask God to bless the work of countless volunteers, essential workers, and staff of NHS who place themselves in harm's way for our behalf. And hear us, Lord God, as a family we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. We close our service, sing together our final hymn, Brother, Sister, Let Me Serve You.
So we say the grace together. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.